Um, okay. So, Frankie, Victor, are we good with you two? Yep. Okay. Um, so, you guys head over to the sh police station. And um, Sheriff Bennett's there, and he's like, oh, wasn't expecting you guys so soon. I, I mean, I left the message earlier this morning, but I thought you guys might want to sleep in because you had a late night. Whatever. Um, Silas wants to talk to you guys. Um, I told him that you were investigating this a little bit too, and he wanted to give you guys some information, I guess. Oh, that's much appreciated. It wasn't me, so don't thank me. Um, well, the messenger, so I'm thanking the messenger. Wow. Instead of shooting the messenger? No, no I, I got it. It's I, been a long night. Sorry, I'm not it, on my it, game. No, it's it's fine. I understand. Um, I'm usually a lot funnier. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh... So, uh, you head into uh, the basement of the police station, um, and in said basement, there is um, three, like, mortuary tables. There's a couple of, like, things on the wall. I don't know what they're called. The cold drawers. Um, and then there's a little office to the side. Um, and then, as you guys are in there... Um, this is two tenths. Let's go with this one. Um, as you guys go into the room, um, you see this man pop out of the office. Uh, and he's like, uh, oh, Sheriff, you had a report for us. Yeah, I was going to go over some. Sorry, it's been a rough morning already. Um, no, I get the feeling. It's OK. Uh, so as you guys gather in the dimly lit basement mortuary, Silas kind of stands there beside a. Uh, stainless steel table with the remains of Tom. Um, he's like, all right, well, folks, let's get started. Uh, he kind of starts pointing to different parts on the body. And he's like, this is unlike anything I've ever seen. Um, He's pointing to different parts where the flesh got torn and there's mangled limbs and things. And he's like, there are definite signs of struggle here. Defensive wounds. He definitely saw it coming. And from the sounds of it, where you guys were there, you knew about this. Um, it appears that he was torn apart by multiple assailants. Um, each wound yeah, shows signs of immense force. As if he was pulled apart by some hands. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, this is the level of blood here. It's consistent with the nature of these wounds but it indicates a level of violence beyond anything one would ever expect to encounter. Um, furthermore, the pattern of the wounds suggests a coordinated attack, um, suggesting that they were all pulling at the exact same time, at the exact same force, at the exact same pressure. Uh, I mean, it was four of them, right, Victor? Yeah, four. As much as I don't believe in this kind of thing, there's something more here than meets the eye. And whatever happened to Thomas 
It's beyond anything I've ever encountered. So in your professional opinion, Silas, could four human men have done this? They'd have to be some of the strongest people I know. And the chances of it being coordinated perfectly like that, very slim, correct? Correct. Yeah, so... What I was telling your sheriff is as unbelievable as it is, makes more sense than humans or animals doing this. Yes, Victor, I get it. Okay. Hypothetic, is there any animal that could rip a limb off with this much force? Yes, 100%. Like in one, just by like, like if more than one of them held onto a limb and like each pulled in a separate direction, could they do this? 100%. However, not with the equal pressure that was applied. Every animal is going to have a different level of strength. This was all the same. Okay. And not a lot of uh, animals here like uh, chimpanzees or orangutans or gorillas, correct? Victor, don't pass. No, I'm out. just, I'm not. I'm if just. Bears gotta rule these things were up. to each grab on to a limb, they could easily pull a person apart. Oh, I 100% I agree with you, but they don't have hands. That's I'm no, just trying I'm to think of animals that. that have hands that could do something like this. Because as much as I don't want to believe what I saw last night, I know what I saw. And even though... Jake, or whatever his name was, that was in the bar at the same time as me, had two, three drinks. I only had two drinks. I'm not a lightweight. So, there's more going on here. Yes, Victor. I understand that you, um... I'm not mocking you, Sheriff. I'm no, I'm not saying say. that you are, but you also have to understand that now we tell the town that, oh no, we have monsters on the loose? What What's that gonna do? Everybody leaves. No, I say we... I agree. I say we keep this between us. Can we just and... tell that we're investigating what could have caused it for a while and not release... Like, hey, there's a monster ripping people apart. Well, like, like I said... Like there's nothing yet and that it's just still being investigated. So... Close the door. Okay. You're closing the door. Yes. This isn't the first encounter. When might you say be, encounter, might be this Sheriff okay. Bennett. There's more to this place than I led on last night. How many? Okay. I have no idea. I don't go out seeking them like you guys do. It's crazy. We didn't... Someone was... The Mark was screaming for help and... I'm not talking about that. I need to keep peace in this town. That's my role as the sheriff here. Right. This is going to be ruled an animal attack, and that's what's going to be released. I, and I understand why. I understand what you saw, and I understand if you feel like you need to tell people. But just know what's going to happen to this town if you do. We try and keep this news at bay. And the more people who have the knowledge, 
the less visitors we get to town, the less revenue we get to town. And this town dies. We are keeping the peace and we are making sure to the best of our ability that these monsters or whatever they are don't claim more victims. We're going to put out a curfew to be in back in town after dark. That being said, if for some reason the rest of the information about these encounters was to get leaked somehow, I wouldn't be looking for the party involved. Am I making myself clear? We're not trying to cause a panic in your town, Sheriff. But... I don't think I'm making myself clear enough then. If somehow this information about these previous attacks was to end up in some news source's hand, or some TV show's hand, and leaked into the knowledge of that show. I guess I just have to deal with the fact that these people are going to investigate something that I can't do myself. I know you're a bump down the head, Frankie, but are you are you following now? No, I get it. Okay, so that being said, uh, Sheriff, what Frankie and I would like to know is is there has there been anything exactly like this happened in the last little while exactly like this no yes and in the last little while also no this only started happening again in the last three four months however happening again is the key word when was it last time? About two and a half years ago. Did uh, somebody go missing uh, at that time as well? Like, uh, I'm saying like Rachel. Like a year prior. Um. Yeah. Are you telling me what I think you're telling me? Yes. I think I think we are. We we think I'll say it outright so you're not guessing. We think that this the person, the monster, the creature creating your issues is in fact Rachel. Or was at one point. Was exact or was Rachel at one point. Whatever it is now, there's very little of who Rachel was left. I'd go talk to Oliver. His brother went missing about three years ago. Oliver. He owns the repair shop in town. No trace. All right. No, nothing. Same kind of. He went hunting in the woods. Um, he said, maybe I should just go live in the woods. I'm more comfortable out there. Uh, and Oliver tried to convince him to stay, and his brother hasn't been seen since. Uh, Sheriff, where he decided to uh, hunt, it wouldn't happen to be out by where Elias was living, would it? I have no idea where Elias is living. Uh, would I? Would he be we able to kind of? I have no idea where he went. Nobody knows. Do you know where the uh, ruins? Do you know where the ruins are? The ruins weren't close to where Elias's place was. Oh, the we had to pass the ruins. Yeah, you direction. have to pass. You have to pass the ruins pretty much all the time. 
Okay, well, that would give us a general direction of where Oliver's yeah. brother is going. Okay, sure. Um, would it happen to be out that way? That direction is all I'm asking. Maybe. Like, they've never told us. Okay, so you don't know for sure. All right, well, how about this, uh, Sheriff? We'll keep bringing as much information to you as we can, and hopefully uh, we can come to the bottom of this and get to the, you know, so that this doesn't happen anymore. Because you've got a beautiful town here, and, you know, it's, it's a shame to see that these things have taken place. Um, at the same time, it's exactly what we're looking for, so not the murder part, but... Uh, yeah, if you can keep on. the murder part to uh, a minimum, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would love that too. So we'll this keep you in information, the loop, uh, sheriff. The knowledge that the sheriff's department is aware should not be shared, and the sheriff's department oh. is not aware. I'm aware. Crystal clear. Sheriff, when this happened the first time, how long did weird stuff happen for before it just kind of stopped? Uh, about four months. Okay. Oh, and did it end with uh, a murder? No, this has never happened okay. like this before. There was reports of sightings, shadows moving out of their own accord. Well, I am. Um... That's what I saw last night too, and it's uh, it's scary as hell. Um, just so you're aware, if you come across these shadow things they nothing might hurt them but they are able to grab hold um i've had books ripped out of my hand i've been slammed into a wall by things that i couldn't even grab and unfortunately tom well we also think that uh, or it's perhaps, fight. yeah, but also we think perhaps it's the the fear that uh, Rachel's feeding on. Like Monsters, Inc.? I, I don't know. I've never seen In that show. In a very but... crude way, yes. Sorry, I have, but it's... I have two kids. I, it's, but... I've seen it a few times. More is like... The current theory is more of, like, a food source. Like, we go get a burger or wings or whatever. Because we need food. Okay. <sighs> Alright, well, um... If, and not being in one piece, if everything was intact, then, I mean, it... Wasn't doing this to eat... Like, physically. So. Um, it seems to just go away if it doesn't get the reaction that it wants. I got slammed into a wall. I was dazed and asked the question that I had asked it right before and it looked annoyed at me and then just vanished didn't you say it went away after it tore the uh guy apart as well yeah so did it not get the reaction it wanted there no that one uh victor what did you say it had the huge smile on its face and then like left yeah the guys the guys didn't see uh uh it behind mm -hmm. the tree but but it was there and and once it would had done what it done it, uh, big smile crossed its face, and then it disappeared along with the shadow creatures. So doesn't it disappear whether it gets its way or not? 
Well, there's two yeah, different like, outcomes though, isn't there? Kidding, one with yeah. a smile and one with a one with a face of annoyance or disappointment if you don't give it what it wants. So wouldn't it make more sense to give it what it wants immediately to make it go away? I didn't and it went away once it didn't get the reaction. It wants that like but immediate it, faction and then but it slammed you up against the wall in the process to try and scare me well I, I just got dazed i mean i've dealt with this thing multiple times face to face like it's not necessarily a fear thing anymore it's more of an adrenaline of like figuring out what's going on it more heightens than scares after you know Frankie uh, the sh sheriff might be onto something though you know when Wyatt yeah, said that he Wyatt snatched someone and if scaring them was all it wanted why because them Wyatt apart? remember Wyatt said that uh, he encountered the monster before it tore Tom apart and the monster left him disappointed and left you annoyed. So maybe that escalated. You know, maybe we're maybe we're right to give the fear first. I don't know. I, I don't want to really encounter this thing at all anymore. I think it has to be genuine though. Like so... if we're not afraid and you feign fear, it's I don't What if I hate to say this because he's a ch child what if Wyatt was actually the cause of this Wyatt showed up when we did I mean he I was have... just told oh the, with that the, the creature left Wyatt and moved on to these guys I mean it didn't get the result it wanted out of Wyatt and it got so annoyed or disappointed that it had to go all out to try and scare people and tore this guy apart in front of members of your party. I mean, Tell I me, Victor, what... were you frightened by this? Yeah, just a little. And by a little, I mean a lot. Then maybe, just maybe... Wyatt is the reason we cannot tell him. Maybe, listen to me please, everyone else in town has already been frightened by this thing. And now it's trying to get the reaction out of you. Everyone else is too easy at this point. But now you guys, you're not even scared of it anymore. I mean, that thing with Elias, I know it, it got me that one on that one. But it slammed you up against the wall this time and you felt nothing. So well, they, uh, with that being the so case, the back of my head was bleeding, so. with that being the case, what's it going to do next? There. Anyway, I don't want to place blame on anyone. I don't want to raise false alarms because we could all be wrong. But it's food for thought, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is all just a work in theory. Now this conversation never happened um and this also never happened and he walks into uh silas's office you hear some uh filing cabinet open and shut um and he is walking away from you guys it's like thanks for coming in have a great day uh and he opens the door with the hand that he has the filing cabinet in and as he swings the door open, he drops it, it falls behind the door, and then he walks out of the room. I'm gonna go back 
still grab the file. And just tuck it into my bag. Okay. All right. Maxine. I believe you're just having an appointment with Hazel, correct? I think so, yeah. All right. Time to calm things down. Let's go back to peaceful. Just chill guitar. It's just called chill guitar. You know. Um, and I don't know any of the things that were just said. Nope. Not a single thing. But uh, surely as a gumshoe, you have some really good yeah. questions for Hazel. Uh, no, no, I'm not talking about that part. I'm talking about the part where he's like, don't say anything to anybody, blah, 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 blah. Said we can investigate. We're good. Uh, well, your appointment with Hazel is trying to get her to take you to, uh, what's it called? The um, mill. I was no, going to go to the mill the, after. Not the mill. Um... So you get her to take you to Whispering Pines Trail. Oh, right. Okay. Alright, so you uh, head out towards the Jebediah Memorial Hunting Lodge. Uh, okay. old, old Little old baby Jeb's what? hunting lodge. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, Oh, my ear just started ringing. That's cool. Um, and yeah, your appointment set and you get to go in and just immediately have a sit down. Uh, so this here is Hazel. If I can find her. It's in alphabetical order. I don't know the alphabet very well, obviously. Um... That is Hazel. Not a redhead. Sure. Only hints of red. Uh, and she's like, hey, welcome. Um, Tobias said you were wanting to uh, set up a just a trail expedition. Are you just looking to go for a walk or are we setting up some hunting spots? What What is your plan? Well, I wanted to, uh, I guess I'll take some pictures. I wanted to go to Whispering Pines, Whispering Pines, that was what it was called? Whispering Pines Trail. All right. Where uh, Charlie and I want to go. I guess he's with me. I guess so. Mr. Silent. He took Mr. You, Silent. He took you on his motorcycle. <laughs> um, any particular reason? We were at uh, the art. Is it an art gallery? No, I can't think what it's called. Artisan's Haven. Charlie's place. Yes. Artisan's Haven. Yes. And we uh, bought a picture from Charlie, and it was like it was just beautiful. And we asked where it was taken, and yeah, I just like to kind of see what it looks like out there. See how much it's changed. Yeah, sure. That's it? No, I thought we could talk along the way too. It's is it that is it a far hike or um uh probably about a few hours. I guess it depends on your walking speed. But uh yeah, that's not a problem at all. Um if we're not really doing anything, do you just want like a walk-in tour? That's not a not a big deal. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, then I guess <laughs> pay Tobias on the way out, and we're all good. Okay. Here you go, to Tobias. So did you? And pay him. At... Who are you talking yeah. to? I was gonna. I was. Nothing. It doesn't matter. Are you asking? I was going to be rude to Tobias. I was going to be rude to Tobias. Stick but... out her tongue at Tobias. Yes, but I'm. I'll just ignore him, Mister Cranky. 
Uh, okay, so uh, you head back to the lodge, and at this point, because um, it takes a while to get out to the uh, hunting lodge, um, Maxine, or not Maxine, Frankie and Victor are coming back as well. Uh, Wyatt would also be coming back because he went to talk to Finn. So you all show up at the out. same time. Uh, I have a little present from the sheriff's office. And but, some but, but we don't actually have this. Oh, yeah. Unofficially, about? I have a gift from the sheriff's office. Officially, I just stumbled on this thing. Um, I'm going to pull out the police report on Tom or the coronary report or whatever. Or whatever he gave us. We don't know what it is yet. Yeah, uh, the folder. I'm assuming it's like a coronary coroner's report or something. Yeah, so it's that, but it also <laughs> lists the, uh, the witness statements that he's received for the past three years. He put them all in the same file because it all had to do with the same type of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna like flip. Is it labeled with an X? For an X file? Um, no. Um, I'm gonna like flip through everything while I'm we're explaining it all. Um. There's a couple of years of witness statements in here. A couple of years. Yeah, um, so uh, I'll explain it, Frankie, or you go ahead. Um, I'm going to say certain things as vaguely as possible because of where we did or did not get this information from. Um, okay. But uh, a little birdie told us that uh this is happening again now with Rachel what uh, this isn't the first time they've had weird stuff like this this is the first time that they ever had like a reported like someone's gotten ripped apart but uh first time this happened was about two and a half years ago well that uh, that's before Rachel disappeared, right? Yeah. Yeah. Another uh, it, fella. It lasted for about four months. Um, similar to Rachel disappearing like a year, year and a half ago, and now all of this starting. Um, Oliver's brother brother has been missing for like three years now. Which I will and say, why it has known for a while. The repair guy? Yeah. Yep. Um his, when you went uh, sorry, uh, he's looking confused. When you went there the first time, he told you that he was hoping his brother would come back home soon. Um, oh, we didn't know he was missing, missing. We just thought he was coming home. <laughs> we uh there's been no word, no sightings, there was never any trace of him. It was just like an instant cold case um just like rachel just like it's like identical um his brother had said that he thinks that he should live out in the woods because he feels like more comfortable there or something and no one's heard from him since <laughs> two and a half so years ago they, they started they have those surges the same way or no i think it's like that electrical um, they started getting a lot of the same reports, um, similar stuff, like, weird, like, is like, weird happenings, weird sightings, and then f after about four months, it just stopped. Okay. Um, and now it started up again, and 
when I started asking those types of questions, uh, they... They kind of picked up what we were getting at, like... Whatever this is, whatever these are, are... People. Like, they, whoever they were at one point, they aren't, aren't anymore. Like... The first time as far, this... as far as we know, anyway. What makes it stop? We don't know. He didn't we know. We don't know. We asked if it stopped with a murder last time, and he said no. It just they stopped getting reports of stuff happening after about four months. Um, How close are we to the four months from Rachel disappearing? It's not from her disappearing. It's from the things starting happening. Okay, um, I'm gonna try and flip through the witness things to like most recent ones over like the last couple of months and see how long like when the first one is like recently um Definitely, like give me one second out of character I suspect I know what's going on but in character I don't um okay so <laughs> sheriff's log incident at the jebediah memorial hunting lodge october 9th 2023 multiple calls reporting strange disturbances at the jebediah memorial hunting lodge during the night guests claim to have seen shadowy figures in the hallways and some report a bone chilling cold that accompanied an overwhelming sense of dread Initial investigations suggest possible animal intrusion. However, no signs of forced entry or wildlife in the vicinity. Um, the old mill visited the abandoned old mill. Uh, this is December 3rd, 2023 to investigate reports of strange occurrences, discovered unusual temperature fluctuations and sporadic electromagnetic disturbances. Uh, Initial reports lean toward natural causes, potentially shifts in the Arctic climate. No evidence supporting supernatural claims, but further investigation is recommended. Uh, eyewitness account, Main Street Chaos. Um, January 4th, 2024. Disturbances reported on Main Street during the evening. Witnesses describe a sudden surge of panic with people fleeing as if pursued by an unseen force. Initial assessment points to possible wildlife causing the commotion, though some speculate the presence of a large predator in the area. No concrete evidence of an actual threat found. January 10th, 2024, Animal Control Log. Increased reports of erratic animal behavior in the Glacier Ridge vicinity. Residents complain of strange noises at night and pets acting agitated. Uh, Animal Control has responded to numerous crawls, but found no signs of predators or unusual wildlife activity. Suggested possible possibility of migratory patterns or seasonal changes influencing animal behavior. Um, and then the last one, January uh, 12th, 2024. Um, public safety, safety Advisory. Uh, growing tensions within the community as rumors spread of a potential threat. Town meetings discuss increased security measures, with some suggesting the need for a curfew. Public safety advisory issued to address concerns, emphasizing caution but downplaying the supernatural claims. Authorities urge residents to report any suspicious, suspicious activity promptly. And that's it. So, How many were there? I wasn't keeping count. Uh, it was five. Um, I had four. But but, it started in October. Yes. October, December, January, January. What was the last date? January 12th, I believe. I had, okay. I had January 4th, 10th, and October 9th, yeah. December 3rd, January 4th, 10th, and 12th. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. So these were all police reports.
Plus, if you count all the ones that people didn't actually report, all the weird shit they were seeing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's January. This started in October. Why did she disappear? Um, about a year ago, if we go from the... Year and a half, I think. Yeah, year and a half now, but a little over a year ago, if we go from, like, first report. Fourteen months prior, roughly. Okay. The door to the briefing room slams open. Uh, Emily's on the other side of the door. Uh-oh. Wyatt, you have to come quick, like right now. All of you, come quickly. Get up and run. Oh, what's going on? It, it Another one. Um, what do you mean another one? Let's go. Just come. And I'm doing. I'm asking questions as we're going. You well, she's running. She can't talk. Uh, talk and run. No. Nah. She's just run and sing cadence. Like you can do both. Whatever. Uh, uh like, you guys talk. start booking it after em Emily, and she starts running towards the woods where the original thing happened. Um, and as you get out to the woods, um, basically, you see the blood on the ground where the guy was torn apart. And up oh. on the blinds that were hung, you see Jake and you see Mark. No, no. And their bodies have been flayed open. <gasps> and they're innards are hanging down onto the ground. Wyatt, I might like turn away and just kind of grab his shoulders. I was like, get Emily back to the lodge now. Please. And that's where we're going to call tonight's game. Well, hope everybody enjoyed. And, uh, they just went to. They were at the police station. Why not? Why would they just like? Right. This is going to. Uh, this episode ran very long, and the point of that was because we're going to be missing a game next week. So, um, I am going to have this episode stretch out over the course of two weeks. So, uh, hope everybody enjoys, and we will see you two weeks from now. Thank you. Hey, you gotta do your do your questions. Oh, questions. Sorry. Now, I know the answer to one of these is no. Did we conclude the current mystery? No. Did we, we, did. Oh. Did, we, did we save someone from certain death or worse? No. <laughs> uh, did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes, actually. Uh, did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? I don't think so. So, you each get one experience... All right, now that's the end of the game. And I hope everybody has a good rest of the week. And uh, yeah, see you all next time we play. Namaste. Bye. Bye.